fans of high quality entertainment, it's time to rank and review Queen The Miracle. The Miracle is the 13th studio album by the British rock band Queen. Released May 22nd, 1989. The album was recorded as the band recovered from Brian May's marital problems and Freddie Mercury's AIDS diagnosis in 1987 which was known to the band, though not publicized at the time. Recording started in January 1988 and lasted for an entire year. The album was originally going to be called The Invisible Man, uh, sorry, The Invisible Men, but three weeks before their release, according to Roger Taylor, they decided to change the name to The Miracle. It was also the last Queen album with a photo of the band on the front cover. The album reached number one in the UK, Austria, Germany, the Netherlands, and Switzerland, and number 24 on the US Billboard 200 chart. All Music would name The Miracle as Queen's best album of the 80s, along with The Game. So along with The Works and A Kind of Magic, these three albums I didn't really listen to too much in the past. but doing this series. I've listened to them quite quite a bit. And this one, uh, once again, the more I listen to it, the more I love it. The, the first couple of times, I liked it a lot, but I found that the first song, Party, and Kasho, K Kashoji's Ship, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I found them I thought they, they sounded a bit forced, and it's like I didn't believe in <laughs> what they were saying or playing. But after a few more listens, it's like, you know what? I love these songs. Some great guitar work by Brian May and uh, Freddie's singing as awesome as ever. The only thing I would say that's kind of a bit disappointing is after the works, Roger Taylor didn't have any main lead vocals on these albums. And it's nice to have at least one uh, with his lead vocals on the track. But then I heard the, uh, there's a two disc for this, and I heard uh, his, his song that he wrote, The Invisible Man, and on the demo of it, I guess, it's his vocal instead of Freddie's. And it's like, yeah, that was a pretty good choice to, to pick Freddie over Roger's vocals. Even though Roger's vocals are great. And I checked out some of Roger Taylor's solo albums on Spotify, and they sound really, really good. So back to this. I... I'm sorry to say, but I basically love all of the songs on this album. The production is sounds great. I'll give it a an A. The album cover, <laughs> I know my choices are uh, how did I have that? I, excellent. No. I yeah, I, I hate it, I like it, or I love it. This one <laughs> I think it's Photoshop. But maybe at the time it was looked cooler than it does today. But it's not bad. But it's not good either. So I'll say it's a it's a fair cover. The best three songs. This was difficult because I Want It All isn't one of the best three songs, even though it is a excellent song. I, I still love it. But my, my three favorites are The Miracle. And I love the changes in that song. The only thing I wish they had done is at the end this really beautiful really beautiful vocals at the end, the last 30 seconds or so. I wish they had stretched that out for at least a couple of minutes. That's my only complaint. And then I really love The Invisible Man and Break. My least favorite song is My Baby Does Me, but I still love the song. So solid vocals by Freddie Mercury. You know, him and I guess the band at this time knew 
he had AIDS and, and they're still putting out great albums. So I, I'm really impressed with this. I'm really impressed with their later albums, which I used to always think were, were good. Uh, they, they still don't rank as highly as their earlier albums, but in the rankings, but in the ratings, they're right up there. Just a little lower. <laughs> so, in my ranking, I have, and this time, <laughs> hopefully everything's correct on here. I know I always screw up once in a while, but I just don't notice it. Plus, sometimes I'm editing my videos first thing in the morning and maybe I need more coffee or something. But this time, there's not going to be any mistakes. <laughs> yeah, the miracle goes between a kind of magic and a day at the races at number seven with a friggin, that's right, I said friggin, with a friggin A+. Plus. Just, uh, and there's so many great uh, Brian May guitar solos on this album, and they seem, you know, like I said, even though it's a, probably not a good time for the band, they seem up, they, they feel energized. Freddie Mercury, it, his vocals are as great as ever. And like I said, Brian May on, with all of his great guitar solos and some funky bits in it. Uh, yeah, I love every song. Uh, I want it all. The Invisible Man, Breakthrough, Breakthrough is great. Ray Must Fall, Scandal, My Baby Does Me, Was It All Worth It, great closing number. Fantastic vocals by Freddie Mercury. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but I give this an A+. I find no faults with it. But it took me, I think I listened to this five times, and every time, it started out, it, I would have given it maybe a, a B rating. I didn't like the first two songs too much. I thought, like I said, they were forced. And then the end of the album, I thought, was kind of draggy. But further listens, I grew to love the song. So it's an A+. Plus. I would love your thoughts on The Miracle in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.